Hello everybody, this is Bench85, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 here on Westb 4 x We have cows! We officially have... well, I mean we had cows, but... We have cows that hopefully are going to be... Um, producing milk here very soon. However, we need to feed them because we don't have any feed in them yet. Um, that's something we need to do. So that's going to require a couple of items. Number one, we obviously need to get some bales in, right? We need some hay, we need some silage, we need all sorts of things, and we need to mix it all up. So we got our tractor here. Um, off camera here, I ended up actually upgrading this guy. This tractor, instead of a 125, is now a 175. So we get a little more horsepower out of it. I got some weights in the back. It's also got a front end loader just in case we need it. But I think what we want to do is we want to get ourselves a telehandler, right? I love using these. Um, there's a full electric one. We really don't want that. Let's see, we, I think we get the class one. And... We're gonna probably have to get... A bucket. A bale fork. And then... Have to get this guy too. I would like the yeah this type of tire. A little bit more of a uh, pavement tire. There it is. So we're going to have to figure out how we want to do this. Oh god, I can just attach like that. Oh yeah, I, telehandlers are the best for this. I love this. Uh, we probably shouldn't have that parked in our way here. Um, but it's all okay. So, if we figure out... So we got 18,000 capacity, right? So a bale is going to be 8,000. That's going to be just under 50%. Hey, we might be able to make that work. What's the math on that? We divide 8,000 divided by 18,000. We get 44%. Okay. That's not gonna probably cut it and all of our bales are that way huh. well do we get now that we've got the money do we sell this vertical mixer that we have and get a new one like is that is that a benefit to us because we can get a big one now and mix up a big amount because we've got what one of these guys no We've got a Vertigo 180. Because we can get the big Silo King, right? Now we're talking a lot of capacity. It's also going to take 240 horsepower, which we don't have. I mean, we can make this guy pretty big here, right? That's a lot of capacity. Yeah, let's let's try one of those guys. 
And then we'll go back to what we have. Um, this here. And we'll sell this one. Alright, so now we're going to have to go back and get the other one. We'll see how much capacity this one has. It's always a, a learning experience, right? Oh, there's a bit of a bump there. Alright, here we are. Yeah, it looks bigger. This tractor should be able to handle it. Oh, I was not watching where I was going. There. So this one's got, there we go, it's got 30,000. Mm, that should be plenty enough. Alright, so we want to do the young stock one. Like so. So now you guys get to see the actual process of mixing it. How much fun this is going to be. So if we still work with our math here, we've now got 30,000, right? So if we do 8,000 divided by 30,000, we have 26%. And if you remember, our capacities here, hay can be 15 to 40. So one bale of hay is enough for that mix, right? So if we go here, uh, here, and say we want... one bale. So we got 8,000 unit, 8,000 liters in that bale, right? Then we're going to have to figure out how many bucketfuls of stuff. And then we're going to get to the end and we got to worry about soybeans and mineral. And then we're also going to have to see now if this, uh, this actually all functions as it should. Alright, so it's processing that. Um, so for right now, we're probably not going to need this uh, bale fork anymore, right? So we're going to drop the bale fork, grab the bucket, and then we're going to have to open up the silos and get some two different kinds of silos, right? how much effort's going to go into raising cows. Oh, we're also going to need some CZM, aren't we? Um, I don't remember how much of that we're going to need. So we're not going to worry about it yet. What we're going to worry about is the fact that we need corn silage, which is going to be here. The bigger bunker, right? Yep, so we've got corn silage in here. So we got a full bucket of corn silage. The nice part is, is we've got the ability to see what we're doing right here, down below. So our percentages are right there. So we're going to want to get our hay overall to be down to about 26%. We need about 10 to 50% of this. So if we had 8,000 units of that, we're going to want, I don't know, a couple buckets full here. And I mean, we can play with the numbers, right? It's all going to be a guessing game as we go here. We're also going to have to see how much feed we're actually going to need. That's why we didn't want to get a whole bunch of cows right away. Um, if we only get 50 to start out with, might be in a better place, right? So that's technically okay in that amount. Um, we're going to need some hay, uh, some haylage here. We're obviously going to have to cut 
our hay and uh, make some more silage here because or haylage because we don't have a huge amount of haylage. Oh, that even looks like haylage. It's got that nice dark color to it. I like it. Now in the future, if we want to use belts and stuff, we can utilize belts. And that should allow us to process things a little quicker. So hay's coming down. Um, I think we're going to go like three buckets of haylage. Oh, i got to not extend it like that because it gets the menu up here. I just wanted to extend the bucket just a little bit so that we have better reach uh, into that taller mixer. See, at some point we're going to have to get that big mixer. And then we're definitely going to want to use uh, belts. Or if we're using the upright silos, we could probably do it that way too. Alright, so we've almost got our haylage where it needs to be. We're gonna have to see if we've got enough room in there for the other stuff or if we're gonna have to grab another we might need to grab another bucket of haylage here. I also realized that I think our, our roller guy is supposed to be rolling a field and I think I forgot to uh, start him doing that before I started playing around with this. Or no. Roller finished. So we've got just barely enough in there. So I think we're going to grab another bucket of each, maybe. Haylage for sure. Um, I'd like to keep it, you know solid bucket full just to see how it works out then we'll have to grab some CCM which will be easier when we have uh, the CCM back in the upright silo for now we're just going to deal with it on the ground so now it just kind of switched over to another brand or another color. If you look, we're sitting pretty good. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go grab one bucket. Let's see if I can get close enough here. We're going to grab one bucket of CCM and then we're going to see where we're at. if we're doing it with the other stuff, we can stop the unloading at a certain number, or close to it. Um, it'll make it a little easier, a little quicker. And I'm hoping with 50 cows, like, one thing full should last for a while. And then I don't have to do this, like, every day, but we'll have to see. At some point, we're going to have lots of animals, and then we're going to have to do it quite a bit. That's the goal, right? Get lots and lots of cows going on here. Alright, so we dump this in. So we don't technically have enough CCM in there. Um, this is the first time I'm making this recipe, so there is a chance that I don't have things correct and it's not doable the way it is. And if that's the case, I may have to adjust the lower ends. I 
t to like force myself to use the other items, I made sure that it was not none of them were like zero. But to make it simpler, like the mineral and the soybean, I might just have to go from zero to ten and just use that as the filler stuff and just make sure for my own good that I actually like utilize it. Um, it's not that hard for me to change it. I just gotta reload the game basically after I do it, so. It's like, in order for me to get where it needs to go here. So right there gets us to 15%, right? let's just leave it there for now but here's my problem right if I want to get 5% of 30,000 right 30,000 times 0.05 I need at least 1500 so that means I need 3,000 space to get the two 5% and I only have 1500 space remaining. So technically I had I don't know if I had too much of anything. Maybe too much hay, but that's something. It's not that bad. So, all right, let me let me adjust the recipe quick. I know now and um we'll make sure Make sure it all works out, right? Alright, just like that, we are back. You see now the numbers are 0 to 10%. This action cannot be performed here. Why do I have dirt in here? Really, why? Oh. I don't know why the bucket had dirt in it, because I don't have Terra Farm enabled right now, so there shouldn't be any dirt allowed to be picked up. So something changed in the process, apparently, here. We're just gonna drop this, uh, We're gonna drop this over here. Perfect. All right, I was gonna put the rest of the CCM into there. I'm hoping there's enough capacity. We're gonna find out. But the idea is we're gonna grab a little bit of mineral here. So you can see we're getting a little bit in there, right? So I'm okay with like 2.5, 2.6% like that. So we know we got mineral in there and then we're going to come back over here and we're going to grab soybean. So, and we just got to make sure that we don't drop below 15, which we don't. So we've got ourselves a perfect mixed ration, just like that. So now we just got to bring it into here, and we're going to want to load it into here, right? That actually didn't turn out so bad for our mixture. I'm, I'm content with that. Uh, we're going to go to the cows here. We're going to look. We're going to see here. We've got food going in. Um, all of them are getting a percentage, which is important.
Dang. We definitely need to watch that, because I have a feeling we might need to uh, fill that more than we realized. Um, well, it's 12.30. I'm going to do some work on... Well, actually, I don't think I need to do any work on the fields, right? Yeah, because everything's back. Um, and I'm not going to do anything... I was going to do hay, silage, 1st of July here. Start chopping some silage. Something else we're going to spend some money on. Um, so, I'm just going to fast forward to the end of the day and we'll see just how much food they consume. Alright, it is currently six hours later, so I, I wanted to do a, you know, a quarter of a day. And they have consumed... Oh boy. Quite a bit. But look at they're producing milk. We already got milk being produced. That's amazing. I didn't realize they were going to start producing already. Um, yeah. <laughs> that means this doesn't even last a day. So I'm going to have to mix up more than that. Does that mean... We're going to have to get the bigger tractor, and we're going to have to get... We're going to have to simplify this, right? Make it easier, get some belts over here so we can simplify the work, probably. The belts, on, honestly, would be the easiest way to go. Um, but I need to mix up some more feed now. So uh, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to talk about uh, chopping here. Um, for tomorrow because that's what we're going to end up doing is chopping halogen in because we don't have enough halogen over there and I'm hoping we have enough hay I kind of regret selling all that hay earlier this year I don't know we'll see what happens I feel like it's been a little while since we've done this but here we are on an overcast day sun's going to come out a little bit later and we're at the shop We've got a lot of equipment sitting here. Uh, needless to say, we're going to be upgrading here. Uh, I made some decisions on this, and this is what we're going to do. So, we're going to repair stuff. Because we can make a little bit more back from it, and then we're going to sell this. Uh, the tractor is going to get repaired. And then sold. And then this guy is going to be repaired for $3 and sold. Because we just bought it. And apparently... Don't mind me. Just, you know... Using the forklift that would be here at the shop to move this, right? Uh, so we're going to repair this guy. We're going to sell it. guess that corn head is not... Showing up, is it? But now it will. Ah, I forgot to repair it, but it'll be okay. Um, we're going to set it here, because I want to see everything that gets done. Oh, I got some items here. I forgot that things had come over here. I've got grass seed. Good to know. Probably won't use it as much. We'll see. But we need to replace what we had here. We'll look at tractors after. First up, for animals, we're obviously going to get the big one, right? 1,000 plus 4350. We're going to customize it. It's got uh, 45 meters worth, so it should fit like 45,000 units. Works for me. Needs 240 horse. We're going to have to remember that. Alright. We go back. We need mowers, right? We want to get... Probably something big, right? So if you look at these, these fold-up ones, we've got this one here, which is 8.3. The one we had was 7.3. 
This one is 10. This one's 10.2. And then we've got this bad boy, which is a pull behind. But and then I think it also comes... Yeah, you need the front one too. 12.3 meters. We're going to be doing a lot of hay. So I feel like this would be beneficial for us. This one requires 200 horsepower. Then we're going to need this one too. So that replaces the mower and it replaces our mixer. Now we can come back to tractors. I think we're going to go up to... I kind of like having that New Holland tractor. So do we go with the T7? What is that? Starts at 273 horse. It's a big tractor though. I don't know if we want to do that. So if we go small tractor, right? We had T6, right? Yep. Yeah. Do they have, they don't have a bigger one. So we could go over to a Maxim if we wanted to. That only goes to 175, never mind. 6M series goes, doesn't go big enough. So we're going to have to go medium tractor. Now we've got some of these other ones that aren't quite as big. This is an older 7810. Old 4755. Um, that fast track is a possibility. But it, the only thing is, is these turn a little weird. Although I think you can change it to be like a regular turn. So this might be an option for us. It's 235 horse, so what, 240 was it? So it should, it should work with the mixer. It's like bare minimum. That's a thought. Then, like I said, we go to a T7, which, I mean, it's a smaller tractor, but it's still big. 6R starts at 280. It's like a short, stubby tractor. Then you got the Puma here. Could always go for like a 7200. Get ourselves a Magnum. Boy, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Oh, that's just weights. Alright. Uh, except this does not have a front setup. And we need a front... PTO, which we don't have here. So, not an option. This one. Also not an option. There are so many... Oh, it is an option. So you could put that on the front. I don't know if I want that. Wait, is it really... Oh, it's a mod, that's why. I think we get this guy. I think we go up to a 315, so we got the horsepower. It'll allow us to work some of our other equipment. Probably, uh, I don't want to put that on. I don't think we want duels or twins. We don't want narrows. I think we just keep it simple. Just like that. Alright, so we got the tractor, and the last thing we're going to need is the chopper. So we're going to need a forage harvester now. And I was very tempted, I was going to get this one. What's on sale? I just realized I spent way too much money. What is this thing? Oh, it's a... Uh, I don't know. It, this looks cool. Is it just like a tank thing? 
Oh, slurry tankers are used to fertilize the field of slurry. Oh, it's a slurry thing. We got a giant. Oh, that's um, sunflower. Oh, look at that big cultivator. Oh, that looks so good, too. It's got the rolling baskets on it. So could you run without it? So it's like a $38,000 one. 75% off? We don't need another disc, do we? <laughs> no, we don't need that. Stop looking at stuff we don't need. Alright, we, we're going to need a chopper. And um, in order to get that chopper, we are going to need to um, probably sell some milk. Which um, we already have some going. And um, hopefully we can hopefully we can make enough money here to, uh, to sell it. But I kind of want to get this mower going here. I don't remember having a pull behind one. That's kind of interesting. I... Oh, I just took him out. I was like... Oh, I see. It's got a... It's got a pivot portion like going on there. Oh, that's interesting. Sorry for hitting. Alright, so we can pick that guy up. Mm, perfect. Alright, we got ourselves a nice new Holland tractor. So we're going to be chopping halos today. That's going to be the plan. Um, but obviously our time here in this episode is coming to an end. We're going to have to get going. This is the first time we're going to cut this hayfield. How big is this thing? Oh, look at this. I like this. Alright, we'll get that guy going. We'll get this guy going. Bring it in a little closer. We're going to drop this one down. So it starts swathing like that. Oh, I didn't choose which one I was doing. I think it's supposed to be that. And this guy is supposed to be like that. Let me drop this down. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, look at this. This is... Uh, it's a pretty good swath of, of hay we can cut down. I like this. So, I'm going to spend some time here cutting hay. And figuring out some way to pay for a chopper that we don't currently have. There's a section that we missed. Might have to figure out how to turn with this thing. But, I'm glad to see we actually have hay over here because... I think we're going to need it. Um, unfortunately, I think there's a lot more uh, hay needs and feed needs than I expected. And it could get a little crazy, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see going ahead in the future here. So uh, thank you guys all for watching. Until next time, as always, take it easy.